I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times, I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. I can accept failure, everyone fails at something. But I can't accept not trying. My attitude is that if you push me towards something that you think is a weakness, then I will turn that perceived weakness into a strength. You must expect great things of yourself before you can do them. To be successful you have to be selfish, or else you never achieve. And once you get to your highest level, then you have to be unselfish. Stay reachable. Stay in touch. Don't isolate. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. If you quit once it becomes a habit. Never quit. Always turn a negative situation into a positive situation. Everybody has talent, but ability takes hard work. I never thought a role model should be negative. To learn to succeed, you must first learn to fail. Just play, have fun, and with the game. Never say never, because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. Don't let them drag you down by rumors just go with what you believe in. Make dream happen. If you do the work you get rewarded. There are no shortcuts in life. I've failed over and over and over again in my life and that is why I succeed. Once I made a decision, I never thought about it again. The minute you get away from fundamentals, whether it's proper technique, work ethic or mental preparation, the bottom can fall out of your game, your schoolwork, your job, whatever you're doing. Success isn't something you chase. It is something you have to put forth the effort for constantly, then maybe it'll come when you least expect it. The key to success is failure. Some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, others make it happen. Learning's a gift, even when pain is your teacher. Failure is acceptable but not trying is a whole different ballpark. There is no I in team but there is in win. I play to win, whether during practice or a real game. Every time I feel tired while I am exercising and training, I close my eyes to see that picture, to see that list with my name. 
This usually motivates me to work again. The best come from the worst. I never looked at the consequences of missing a big shot. When you think about the consequences you will always think of the negative result. I've never lost a game I just ran out of time. I'm not out there sweating for three hours every day just to find out what it feels like to sweat. My body could stand the crutches but my mind couldn't stand the sideline. I've always believed that if you put in the work, the results will come. I don't do things half-heartedly. Because I know if I do, then I can expect half-hearted results. The game is my wife. It demands loyalty and responsibility, and it gives me back fulfillment and peace. I know fear is an obstacle for some people, but it is an illusion to me. Failure always made me try harder the next time. It's heavy duty to try to do everything and please everybody. My job was to go out there and play the game of basketball as best I can. People may not agree with that. I can't live with what everyone's impression of what I should or what I shouldn't do. If it turns out that my best wasn't good enough, at least I won't look back and say I was afraid to try. I've always believed that if you put in the work, the results will come. I realized that if I was going to achieve anything in life I had to be aggressive. I had to get out there and go for it. Be true to the game, because the game will be true to you. If you try to shortcut the game, then the game will shortcut you. If you put forth the effort, good things will be bestowed upon you. That's truly about the game and in some ways that's about life too. Heart is what separates the good from the great. I would tell players to relax and never think about what's at stake. Just think about the basketball game. If you start to think about who is going to win the championship, you've lost your focus you can practice shooting eight hours a day but if your technique is wrong then all you become is very good at shooting the wrong way get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise i own the guy guarding me the game has its ups and downs, but you can never lose focus of your individual goals and you can't let yourself be beat because of lack of effort. There is no such thing as a perfect basketball player, I don't believe there is only one greatest player either. If you accept the expectations of others, especially negative ones, then you never will change the outcome. You have competition every day because you set such high standards for yourself that you have to go out every day and live up to that. Sometimes, things may not go your way 
but the effort should be there every single night. Best evaluation I can make of a player is to look in his eyes and see how scared they are. Winning isn't always championships. Sometimes you need to get hit in the head to realize that you're in a fight. I want to wake up every day and do whatever comes in my mind, and not feel pressure or obligations to do anything else in my life. Enjoy every minute of life. Never second guess life. I believe greatness is an evolutionary process that changes and evolves era to era. If I had been playing for money I would have complained a long time ago that I was underpaid. Being Michael Jordan means acting the same as I always have. My father used to say that it's never too late to do anything you wanted to do. And he said you never know what you can accomplish until you try. I want to be the bridge to the next generation. When I will lose the sense of motivation and the sense to prove something as a basketball player, it's time for me to move away from the game. I hope the millions of people I've touched have the optimism and desire to share their goals and hard work and perseverance with a positive attitude. In reality, I never want to grow up. How many times have your parents told you not to do things, and the next thing you know, you go do it. And you realized you shouldn't have done it. My heroes are and were my parents. I can't see having anyone else as my heroes. In college I never realized the opportunities available to a pro athlete. I've been given the chance to meet all kinds of people, to travel and expand my financial capabilities, to get ideas and learn about life, to create a world apart from basketball. In any investment, you expect to have fun and make money. For a competitive junkie like me, golf is a great solution because it smacks you in the face every time you think you've accomplished something. That to me has taken over a lot of the energy and competitiveness for basketball. My challenge when I came back was to face the young talent, to dissect their games, and show them maybe that they needed to learn more about the game than just the money aspect. I want to be perceived as a guy who played his best in all facets, not just scoring. A guy who loved challenges.